Hey folks, Deb here. Brad's brush hogging, just filled in a trench for his parents. I'm on Bella duty, and if you guys have watched our channel and you know Bella, it's nonstop. And Bella duty is time consuming. So I thought while we're here and we're waiting for Brad to brush hog, let's go check out the pond. So we got some rain in the pond and it's come up and it's cleared up. And the weird thing is we have some fish in the pond. Now we have never put fish in the pond and they're too big to be tadpoles. So how you think fish got in a pond that we have never stocked? Now a friend of mine said that he heard that ducks can bring them in on their feathers, that they can go from pond to pond to pick up fish eggs and then transplant them in ponds. That kind of makes sense to me. So have you heard that? Is that a wives tale? Do you think that's possible? Do you think that's where our fish came from? But we'll go down and see if we can see them. And if I look like I'm looking off, I am because Bella duty is nonstop. Let's see if we can see any fish. Okay, I see the fish out there. I don't know if they'll come across in the camera, but I see them. You see them? What are they? And how do they get in here? That's the question. Leave a comment down below. See how fast she is? She's already gone, out of sight. Crazy. I know that we talk about Bella Duty and me having eyes on her all the time and people probably, oh, why? Well, we have 20 acres here and we still have a lot of heavily wooded areas on our 20 acres. And there are places for her to um, run into the woods. And there's a side of our fencing that's not that good. And if she were to chase a deer or a rabbit or something through there and hop the fence and go to the neighboring 20, 40, 60, 100 acres, we, we wouldn't know it because she is fast and she is much faster than I am. When we're out here full time, maybe we, we will be able to trust her that it'll be fenced in better and then she'll be used to it. But right now she's not used to coming back, right? She's not used to, oh, I got to come in, it's dinner time. So until she's used to it, we've got Bella duty. So while we're out here just randomly roaming the property, which I enjoy doing, I just would like to take more breaks than Bella does, but Bella doesn't know what a break is because she never stops. But while we're randomly checking out the property, let's go check out the garden. It's looking pretty good. I think they picked everything this morning. It's looking good though. Look at that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think that might be a beet, but I'm not real sure. Are those beets? Remember, Brad was raised a farm boy, but I was not raised a farm girl, so a lot of this is still learning for me too. Beans going up the trellis. You can tell the part of the garden that doesn't have enough nitrogen, because see, little, little, oh, so sad, and then the corn gets bigger and it's tasseling. But obviously, there's a part of the garden here that's not getting what it needs, so. Still a work in progress, but they're getting food from here every couple of days, so it's exciting. Oh, look at the little peppers. Look at that one. That's exciting to me. I think Pop said those are jalapenos. He wasn't expecting jalapenos, but he got jalapenos. And the corn, the silk. Tomatoes. So a couple weeks ago, Brad built a 3D deer deterrent to protect the soybeans that he planted for the deer, but we're not ready for them to eat it. So let's go check and see how that's doing. If the soybeans are growing and if the deer 3D fence worked, I'm gonna guess yes, it did. The house and the shed and the pole barn are behind me. It's a nice little path that goes back here. It's actually um, opens up to the one acre food plot. I don't know if Brad will ever hunt it, but we want to give nourishment to the deer. We want to improve the soil out here as well. So if we ever want a bigger garden, the soil's ready for it, but it's, it's kind of a pleasant walk. So we're coming upon where it opens up, where we're going to see if it worked. It's got a two level approach, and I guess it kind of messes with the deer's depth perception, a shorter one and a taller one. And they could jump over this, but they, I don't think they are, because look, there's the, the soybeans have grown. They don't look like they were nipped. Oh, you know what? Some of them don't look nipped, but some of them do. So something has gotten in here, but it hasn't nipped down those. So maybe a bunny? I don't know. It looks like it's working. He's got milk jugs and um, survey tape and hand sanitizing wipes tied to there just to try to deter the deer further. But uh, it keeps the deer out, but 
It doesn't keep Bella out. Chasing Bella on what will be our backyard. That will be our backyard. I'm standing where our house will be. I'm standing on a house pad. That will be our backyard. And that will be our view. We purposefully put the house pad at an angle. So when we have our front porch, we will look out over the pastures and the pond and the pole barn with my critters. Going through the stages now um, where we've kind of found a house plan that we're gonna do and we found a drafter and we think we found a builder. So hopefully the main home on Piney Grove will be built soon. We will obviously document that entire process, but that's something we look forward to. We've been working on this property since 2018. We're a lot closer than we were, but we still got a ways to go. As you see, Bella's still not stopped. I mentioned earlier that Brad was raised as a farm boy. I was not. And if you would have told me, I don't know, eight years or so ago, that I would have a pig piece of property and I would just be so in love with it, I would have said, ah, I don't know, it doesn't seem like my thing. But I absolutely love this piece of property. I absolutely love what we've done. I look forward to what we're going to do. And I feel just blessed. And we come out here. Ooh. We come out here and I just get choked up sometimes. The good Lord chose to give us this piece of property. I'm just so blessed and I just, sometimes I get overwhelmed by it and I'm so thankful. So you ever get that way? Just so thankful for something that you have that maybe um, you never thought you would down a path that you didn't think you'd go? That's, that's kind of me every single time we come out here. I'm just blessed and I'm just grateful and I'm thankful. And I know it's not me and it's not us, but it was, it was a divine power. Good Lord saw fit to give us this and hopefully we're doing and proud with what we're doing with it. There's Bradford. I mowed the, uh, around the pond just, just a week ago and you would never know by looking at it, but I don't go down this steep embankment, but he will with the bush hog. The guy that dug the pond told us when he dug it that based on the composition of the dirt that we had, that it should be a, a sea foam, kind of a sea teal green, and, and he's right. When the sediments are down, it is a pretty kind of light green. Brad for making good progress on that pond bank. It looks so much better. Not mowed, mowed. I think he likes it, although I'm sure his neck doesn't appreciate it. And guess what? Bella still hasn't stopped. I'm not sure if we've ever showed this handy dandy little gadget. That culvert that goes into the pond has a flexible pipe that goes into it. Where and why? Well, let me tell you where the other end of that pipe goes. So the culvert in there, the pipe runs all the way down here, all the way up here. Wait, wait there's more. All the way up here. And now there's where our house is gonna be, and it's on a hill. So down here, Bradford, who's always thinking, well, he was watching how the water ran off the road so when they dug the culvert, he had them dig a little mini trench. And they put that pipe in, and then they put a into the pipe here. The runoff from the hill catches down there, doesn't wash out the road, and goes through the culvert, which goes to the pond. Clever, huh? All righty, well, we checked on the pond, we checked on the deer fence, and I showed you the garden. So I guess now I'll chase Bella without the camera in hand, but just to give you a little peek at what it's like with Bella, here's just two hours that a game camera caught when we were working on the back fence. Hey, no, no, ma'am. She went right to the deer poop. Remember, I'll get out of there. Bella. Hey. Yeah. Get out of there. Get. Oh. Oh. Come here, Goofball. Wait, come here. Come here, Goofball. Bella. Come here, smells and well. Bella, come. Come on. Bella, come. Come here, Bella. When I say that Bella doesn't stop, Bella really doesn't stop. I guess I'm going to give Bella my undivided attention before I lose her. So we hope you guys are having a wonderful week, a great weekend. Take care. God bless. Be safe. And as Brad would say, until the next one, remember, life is short. Be kind. Take care. So we're in the truck leaving Piney Grove, all of us, and we stopped to open the gate and Brad drives the truck through and then he gets out and I'm thinking I don't know why he's getting out but okay he must have, want to get a snack or a drink out of the cooler. Let me just show you what he decided needed to be done before we left. Yep, 
Yep, that's right. Apparently, had the weed eat by the road before we left. Take care.